Hey guys, it's Miharu. With all the hype that's been generated by Nitro Fueled over the past year, and the highly anticipated release of the 2020 title, can Spyro even hope to catch up to Crash? To better explain what I mean with that question, let us first take a look at where the two series stand at the moment. As stated, Nitro Field has been going strong for almost a year and continues to keep us on our toes with brand new content every month. We have a possible PS5 launch title to look forward to, and even before that we're getting a mobile game. With all this news, it's almost hard to remember a time when we weren't hearing speculations about Crash left and right. So where is Spyro in all of this? Well, to say it's been left completely in the dust would be untrue. The community continues to make awesome mods for Reignited on PC, and Spyro himself is certainly still getting attention in CTR, so the series is definitely still relevant. I touched on this topic briefly back before Reignited was released, wondering whether it could possibly be a bigger deal than Insane. In that video, I stated that while Crash kinda dropped off the map after Mind Over Mutant in 2008, Spyro needed to be rescued from the Skylander series, which people labeled as a fate worse than death. In other words, Insane was a revival, Reignited was supposed to be a savior, and it sort of was if you choose to see it that way. Academy was cancelled after its third season, and Ring of Heroes kind of fell into obscurity. I'm not sure if Reignited necessarily had anything to do with that, but that's what happened. It's important to note that, due to Spyro being two years younger than Crash, it will always be a step behind. There aren't as many games in general, and as far as I'm aware, none of them has ever sold as well as Crash titles. Of course, there could be a multitude of reasons for that that I don't really want to get into, but it is interesting to think about. Now, I realize this is beginning to sound like I'm complaining that Spyro isn't as popular when it rightfully should be, but uh, I digress. That's just the way it goes sometimes. A sister series won't always get the same kind of attention as what preceded it. But the question here is, is it even possible for our Purple Dragon to receive a game that acknowledges, celebrates, and preserves his past as much as Nitro Field does for Crash? Could it happen, and should it happen? It comes as no surprise that the two franchises share very similar histories. They both had their highs, lows, and in-betweens. And this sort of goes back to what I was saying about the difference between the remakes and what they represented. The PS2 era of Crash was definitely flawed in many areas, but there was always something about it that still felt like Crash. The main cast remained largely the same, with a few new additions, and there was a tonal shift, with the characters' personalities being more exaggerated, and humor in general playing a bigger role. But a lot of that ended up becoming a staple, and to everyone except the Naughty Dog era purists, it's still recognized as Crash. And then you have Spyro, which, instead of getting spin-offs, went in a completely different direction with both a continuity reboot and a hard reboot, which, again, is considered by many to not even be part of the series at this point. So with that in mind, could it happen? Well, there could easily be a game that includes nods to Spyro's past, even Reignited has its fair share of references, but aside from images, a name drop here and there, and maybe every different ability being available, I just don't see lesser known characters like Ember or Flame or full levels from any of the PS2 era games being present. And we have to think of it this way too. CTR is a spin-off, which is why I can afford to get away with things like that and make it feel natural. Spyro has always been a very controlled series, doesn't have experience with branching out in the same way. Car racers and party games are not its thing, and I truly cannot see something like that catching on. So no, maybe Spyro will never catch up to Crash. Not in the same way, at least. He has his own path to follow, and we can only hope that 2021 will bring us something fresh and interesting. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. What direction do you think Spyro should go in for the new game? Leave a comment below and let me know. As always, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social medias, and I will see you next time. Until then, this is Miharu, signing off.